if you have ever seen this on your Facebook ads account, then you must have felt really disconcerted. I'm here to show you how to resolve it in this tutorial, so stay tuned and do not skip any part of this video. Now, this restriction is different from a disabled ads account because it affects your entire Facebook profile. So with a restricted ads account, you can go you can go onto your business manager to create another ads account. But with this, you must verify your identity before doing anything that is ad related. So the first thing you want to do if you see this is to navigate to business support home. So you might actually see it from here um, on the message or on the notification that pops up. All right, to tell you to go to business support home. So you can click on it to go to business support home directly. But another way to go to business support home is to come to all tools. So come to all tools and then you would see business support. So click on it. So business support is where you can actually see all your ads assets that have issues and then go on to try to resolve it from there. Okay. So once we are here, you can actually see the status of your advertising assets, including your ads account, your pixels, your business manager and all. So you can actually navigate to this right here and then you can click on it and then you would see all your ads accounts and your business managers. All right. And then you can check them out to see which of them have issues and, you know, um, go on to resolve them. So these are all the advertising assets, the business accounts and the ads accounts I have on this particular profile, on this particular Facebook profile. So if I want to check to see if any of them have issues, including pages as well, I can just click on them, on them and check them out. But the focus is on this, um, my entire profile, all right, which have actually been restricted a long time ago. So you might actually be wondering how I run ads. Um, I have actually been running ads with with um accounts that I buy, all right, to run ads because my personal Facebook account has been restricted a long time ago, all right, because um because this happened and I was not able to resolve it in time. So that this is um that's another thing you need to learn. So um basically I can't request a review of this account anymore because from this message here they said after I requested review of your Facebook account. We confirm that it didn't comply with our advertising access, sorry, advertising policies or other standards. And I can no longer use this account to run ads. Well, I've actually used this account to run ads like on a repeat for myself and for clients. So I don't exactly have an issue with this anymore. But for you, once you come to this list, you're going to be seeing um, something here that says request review. And because of the fact that I don't exactly have an account, that I can request a review for. So it means that I can't actually follow through that process to show you, but I'm just going to tell you what you need to do from here. All right, so once you come here, you're going to be seeing a blue button here that says request review, all right? So once you click on request review, the next thing you're going to be doing is that you're going to be doing a capture test. This thing will tell you to verify if you're human. So you just go through that. Then after verifying that you're human, you click on um, continue, all right? So once you click on continue, it will take you to another place where they will ask you to enter and confirm your phone number, right? So you're going to be entering your phone number. And then from there, they would ask you, they will send you a code to WhatsApp, all right? So after you've done that process, like you've, you've done the um, WhatsApp verification, your phone number um, WhatsApp verification process, you're now going to be asked to submit your ID. So one thing you need to um, ensure with your ID, the ID you're going to be using to do the verification is that it must the name on the ID must align with your Facebook account name. Remember, this is still Facebook. So whatever ID you're going to be using must the name on it must align with your Facebook account name. So if you're using a driver's license or you're using a national ID card or you're using a passport or you're using a voter's card, the name on it, if your name, if your Facebook name is Mary Adole, ensure that you're not using a voter's card or whatever ID you're using that has a different name on it. Then another thing you need to ensure is that your ID card has to be, um, it, it needs to have the right sizing, okay? So there is a right sizing for, um, that is acceptable for, um, you know, for doing the verification, and that is 1,500 by 1,000. So I'm going to be showing you how to achieve that size, all right? So let's say you have gotten the ID you're going to be using and you have taken a snapshot of it. 
because you need to take a snapshot of it you know um on a black or on a dark background all right and then you have cropped it to ensure that it is only the id that is showing on um on the frame all right so the next thing you're going to do is to use a photo resizing app or tool to resize the image all right so whatever Im um, image resizer you're using you can use maybe adobe photo resizer but i'm going to be using one here from my laptop so i found an id that i can use that i want to use i actually this is actually for a client but i'm going to use it to show you um how to do your own so if you're using a, la a mobile phone yes you can actually achieve this as well but what i don't know is if you can actually use um this tool that i'm going to be using here but there are other photo resizers you can use like i mentioned earlier there is adobe photo resizer so you can actually check it out right um so when you use adobe photo resizer you're not going to have the opportunity to actually insert the numbers but then you can they, they will give you different sizes that you can use right so you just select the one that is appropriate all right so you can also see how that this has been resized it's been reframed so there is no part no part is showing like there are no black parts or, you know, so it's just the um the image that is showing. It's just the ID card that is showing. So this is what you want to ensure to do, all right? So I'll just left click the image, all right? And then I'm going to select the, the image resizer that I'm going to be using. Then I'll come here and I'll click on open with, all right? And then I'm going to open it with paint. So it's paint I'm going to be using. I've been trying to actually remember the name of the tool, but I couldn't remember it. So it's paints we are actually using to resize this photo. So let's wait for it to open up. All right, so here we are on paint. So what I'm just going to do is I'll come to resize. I'll click on resize and then I'll click on pixels. Then I'll remove this maintain aspects ratio. All right, so it's already um it's already inserted because I've been doing this um up more often these days. So the, the horizontal should be 1,500 and then vertical should be 1,000. The reason why you have to unseat this, this maintain aspects ratio is because if I if I tick on it, it will disorganize the number here, all right? So if you're using a laptop, this becomes very easy for you. So once you're done, just click on OK and then it will resize it, all right? So this image is already resized anyway, so that's why it did not change at all. But if the, if, if the image was not originally 1,500 by 1,000, once you enter those um, numbers, it will just change it. So once you're done, just come to file and then you can save it. All right. So click on file and then you can save as, all right. You can save as um, JPEG or PNG and then save it with a name that you can remember. And then after you're done, you can now go back to your Facebook business support and then continue with requesting the review. So, so after submitting your ID, you will get this type of message on your screen, all right? Then what you now need to do is to wait for at least 24 hours and check your email for a message from Meta, or you can also check your business support form. Sometimes I would also send the message to your Facebook notifications as well. Sometimes it's not even up to 24 hours. So just be looking out for a message on these platforms, all right? So hopefully you get a message that your account has been reinstated and congratulations, you can now go on with your ad setup so usually the restrictions that happen at the beginning of starting your ads it isn't that serious because um for most people they get this um restriction message or they get yeah um the, your profile restricted when they are about to start running ads all right but i'm saying that it is usually not that serious because it is just facebook's way of saying first things first let's know who you are so come and co come confirm your identity first before you start to run ads on our platform, right? However, this initial one doesn't mean you won't get this strike again. If you get this message again that your account has been restricted, all you just need to do is to go through the same process to recover your account, all right? Sometimes I feel the system does this in error anyways. When you're carrying out activities in your account, you might just get the message that they detected unusual activities on your account. Oh my God. However, if your ID cannot be verified, and you get this message that your accounts have been permanently restricted, just like mine, do not panic. So you still have some options available to you. After all, I have this message that um, my account has been permanently restricted, but I still run ads for myself and for people. All right, so you still have some options available to you, like I said. 
So um, I'm going to be sharing four things you can actually do. So the first thing is that you can create a new Facebook profile and not try it for at least three three weeks to one month. So you not try it with content, add friends, join groups, and all of that. All right. So before you start anything, ads, make sure you verify your ID from your Facebook app directly. All right. So after you've created the account and you have um you have nurtured it to some extent, you want to ensure that you verify your ID from the Facebook apps, from the Facebook app directly. I actually did a video some time back to, to talk about this. I'm going to be looking for that video and then link it in the description of this particular video. Then another alternative to starting a new account is to buy Facebook accounts that are already verified, right? So you can buy, people actually sell Facebook accounts out there. So you can actually buy it and then use it to do your ads, right? Then um, another alternative also is to use a family member's account for which they have an ID. So if you have a family member who does not exactly use their own Facebook account to run ads, you can actually, um, you know, collect assets from them and use it to run your ads, all right? So if you do all of this, you should have a Facebook account that is ready to run ads without stress. So I believe you've gained massive value from watching this tutorial till the end. And I know that you now have um, information to be able to request a review for your restricted advertising access on Facebook. Please do not fail to share this video with people in your network whom you also believe would benefit from watching this tutorial as well. I also like the video because it helps the YouTube algorithm to you know, recommend this video to other people as well. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do me a favor and hit on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss out when I post similar videos like this. All right, so thank you very much for staying on to the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.